Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 11 of the Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. So in the last episode, we had started this village wall and then what I did off camera was finish it because I wasn't sure if I should finish it in a video or if I should just do it off camera. But most of you commented that you wanted me to finish it off camera so I could do other things this episode. But here we have it. We finally have this village wall finished. I also did a few small things around the village just to make the landscaping look a little prettier. Um, and I put a lot of bone meal everywhere to get some flowers and grass down. I might clean it up uh, a little bit eventually. But for the most part... Uh, I think it looks pretty good, and we're ready to start building stuff in the village. Obviously, you know, we have a lot more room left to build stuff. If I want to build stuff in the future, um, I can always expand out the village wall. The design's pretty simple. I think it looks pretty good, but it's also simple, which is awesome. Um, and I can expand in different directions. Everything's looking pretty good so far. The only annoying part is when you're inside the village, obviously it does look kind of bad having a giant wall around you. Um, but one, it's nice to have the villagers protected, uh, with all the torches inside, it kind of prevents mobs from spawning. Uh, and two, you know, it looks kind of cool from the outside. So far, though, I only have two entrances and exits. I have one on that end over there where I'm clicking, and then I do have this one that I put in, uh, just a tiny one right in front of my house, just in case I want quick access to the outside. It's not the best design, I just kind of used stairs, and it's literally just a hole in the wall. So again, it doesn't look amazing. If you guys have suggestions about how I can easily make it look better, let me know. Um, obviously, I don't want to do some big, intricate design, but, you know, for that, it's whatever. This one over here, though, however, this is going to be my main entrance slice exit into the village, because this is also the side that kind of enters into the flattest area of land <laughs> this was a big forest that i deforested i needed a, you have guys this wall took me hours to build and gather resources for it was crazy but on this side we just have some hills and some water on the other side we have some water that side we have hills so this is the side that i kind of want to make the main entrance so if you guys know any good like gate or building or not building um like village gate wall type things uh, <laughs> let me know, and I'll put them in here. But also, what I wanted your guys' help with was officially naming our village. You know, this is our first village, this is our first real town settlement in Minecraft. Obviously, I might be moving in the future to making different houses, making different towns. Maybe someday making this town a part of a bigger kingdom or country type thing. But I want your help. I want your help naming this place. What the heck should I name it? Uh, it doesn't have to be something related to my name. It could be something totally random. It could be um, a name of a town from a TV show or video game or something you just think sounds cool. Just put them down below in the comments um, and I'll be checking them out and I'll pick whichever one I like best in the next episode. And I'll definitely make sure to give credit. So there's that. Um, but also, I figured what I would do, because a few of you guys have already suggested some things for me to build in my world. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick cut, show you guys uh, different areas around the village, kind of show it off with a wall, uh, and show off what we're working with. And I want your suggestions as to what should I build in the village. You know, should I flatten out an area? Should I create a hill in an area? Uh, with the village houses, obviously, I want to revamp them in the future, but if you guys have any suggestions about what I should make a specific village house, let me know, like, hey, I might take one down, or take a house and turn it into a shop, or just do something like that, like I did with, where is it? Hold on, let me just find it. It was this one over here. This was originally a really tiny village house, and then we revamped it, turned it into a fishing hut, and made this little bridge here looks pretty good so you know we have that one i think a villager's living in there but you know what i mean just like different things you guys want me to build people have also suggested people really want me to build a windmill <laughs> i don't know what the big fascination with windmills are but i think i definitely want to build one somewhere but yeah again let me know uh, and also real fast to answer if any of you are questioning why the heck i have so many skeletal horses in my village so i have three skeletal horses in my village and this goes back to episode 5, where there was a rare occurrence that happened where there was, 
I think there was just a skeleton. And then lightning struck on the ground. And three or four skeletal horses with skeletons riding them appeared out of nowhere. Um, and apparently it, it's just a really rare mob spawn in the game. Um, and it's kind of referencing like the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Four Horsemen type things. Uh, so yeah, that's why they're here. Eventually, once I get a saddle, uh, you know, hopefully we can get one and tame one. Because I honestly, it looks so amazing um, riding a horse around. I know I had a saddle. I did some stuff off camera and found a dungeon. I don't really know where I put it though. It might just be in a random chest. But yeah, I'm going to cut really fast, show you guys the village. And if you have any suggestions about what I should build in a certain area or change something, let me know. Anyways, now that you saw the village, I hope you guys will give me some suggestions about what to build. But, I do have something that I want to build in this episode. So, like I referenced earlier, a lot of people have been bugging me to build a windmill. I don't know why, maybe just because they look pretty good. Who knows? <laughs> but, I did find a design on Google one day of a tiny little house that would fit perfectly with these village houses... Um, and they're gonna look somewhat like how I want to revamp it um, But it would fit in and it's a tiny little house that has a windmill attached to it And I think it looks really good. So shout out to the website GrabCraft For this build design I'm about to use it's pretty simple. I have all the blocks. I think that I'll need right here I'm not really sure I just kind of looked at the picture and went for it But anyways, I'm gonna build that here in the future. I do want to build a pretty big full-size windmill um, but I think a tiny house with a little windmill connected to it will add some nice character. So let me figure out where I want to do this. There, There is, like, this whole area is nice, flat. I also, I wanted to do it kind of, that's kind of loud. <clears throat> it's fine. Um, at least for me. I wanted to do it on top of a hill to kind of make sense because, you know, I didn't want to put a house with a windmill, like, down there. It wouldn't be getting much wind. You know, there's walls for both sides. There's hills here. So right on top of the hill, I figured is the best place. And right about here looks pretty good. I can connect it to this path here. Even though I'm not going to use this generic path for long, I'm going to build actual paths. Uh, for the time being, it's okay. And I think, let's have it facing this direction, I think. Or this direction. Um, no, yeah, let's have it face. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to plan this out. I know what it's going to look like. I just don't really know for sure how I'm necessarily going to do this. So let's put a crafting table over there because I'll need that. And then let me think here. So the way this starts is let's put, let's put one stone block. That'll be where the door is. 
so then uh, I will have room in all directions. So then it looks like right here we go four blocks high with oak wood. And then we also do that in this corner. We skip a block, do one here. And this is pretty much the build of the entire thing. I know it looks really small, but <laughs> don't don't judge it yet. Trust me. Um, I think it'll look really good once it's done. <clears throat> so here's that. Let's go place. Um, actually, before we place the door, we're gonna need a lot of stone bricks. So what I want to do is let's make the ground actually stone bricks. I think it'll be a nice block choice, especially since this is what the roof's gonna be made out of. <clears throat> so here, let's do this. All my stone needs to go to stone bricks. Um, I will need a few stairs. I don't know how many, but I'll just make a few for now. And then I'll also need a door. I have so many baby chickens. The door will go there. Um, and then, let's see, I'll also need... I'm going to need a decent amount of oak stairs. But I'm not gonna, I don't want to make more than I need to. So let me see. They have this here. And then what they do <clears throat> is at each window, they place cobblestone like this. And then they have an oak stair like that. And then they have another one, one block higher, um, upside down. <clears throat> and basically, these are just the windows. It makes a nice little window design. Let's see how it looks, though, with the new 1.14 windows. Okay, it looks pretty good. It works. Um, I like a lot of the newer textures. I don't really like the glass textures, though. I feel like they look a little too generic. Um, I'm not sure what blocks they put here, so I'm just going to put oak for there right now. Um, but it's okay, because we won't really see that anyways. <clears throat> so then, what happens next after this gets interesting? So I might actually need to leave for a sec and get some more blocks. But it looks like they have this beam of oak wood going across the top and this is kind of the windmill kind of the windmill part the, the blade and fanny part you know what I mean <laughs> this is the part that's, that's noticeable and the part that everyone's gonna see so let's turn some of these into planks because I am going to need some fences to do this so let's make some fences really fast fences and then I need a lot of wool so let's get our wool back. I think 13, yeah, I'm pretty sure 13 will be enough. I don't think I'll need more than that. I'm pretty sure I'll have a little bit of extra. So what I'm going to do is two going down. <clears throat> I'm trying to look off this picture. This picture does it really well. Like that. Oh, I think it's literally just two in every direction off of this. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize that. And then what it does is it has two right here. It has two. I don't know how this is gonna look. Let's let's hope this looks good. Two there. Okay, let's see how this looks from the bottom. Ah, oh, but really fast. There's one finishing touch. We need a trap door. Boom. And then they had it open the other direction. Let me see how that looks. I don't know. I think it looks good closed. But they, they had it open like that. But I think that looks good. I think that looks good so far. I don't know about you guys. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> that's, a, that's my opinion, though. Uh, so let's go back here. I'm definitely going to need more stairs than this. But I have all the stone I need. So let's just turn the rest of it. <clears throat> into stairs. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. It's like that. There we go. 40 stairs. Uh, rest of the oak. And, okay. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's get up on the roof. This is looking pretty good so far. It's starting to take shape. It's starting to look pretty good. Uh, and I'm starting to get a feel for the build. Okay. So now it looks like they go one block out. I'm just, I'm not trying to follow this exactly. Um, I'm just not the best builder myself. Plus, I think this looks pretty good, so I do want to follow this design. Um, you guys can also use this design. Um, I'll put a link for the design I followed in the description, just because I think it looks really cool. And so, you know, 
you can use it for yourself too. <clears throat> oh, it's starting to get dark. Hopefully I can finish this soon. Ooh, I do actually need a little bit. Okay, good. We have stone bricks, because it looks like it uses stone brick slabs. I doubt it actually uses slabs, because it looks like this picture was probably taken before 1.14. Um, something just gives the illusion of the slab look, though. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. I'm not good at this. <laughs> It's okay. We have enough torches around the village. I'm not really too scared if it's nighttime now. In the past, I was really scared whenever it was nighttime um, because I really didn't want my villagers to die because they kept dying. But luckily, it seems like I'm starting to see a lot of particles around them. So I don't know if they're breeding um, or if they're just exchanging things or talking to each other. I don't really know what that's all about. I don't really know too much about the new villager mechanics. I haven't really looked into them too much. Um, but it's interesting. I don't know. I'll just have to watch their behavior, see what they're doing. And, I don't know, make observations. <clears throat> okay. I might need a little more dirt. So, pretty much, the outline for the roof is made from these stone brick stairs. And then, the inner part of the roof is oak stairs. So, I don't know how well this is going to look. Or turn out, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> but the picture makes it look pretty good. So I'm hoping the actual thing looks pretty good, too. <laughs> I have faith, though. I'll have to do some work on the inside, too, to make the roof part look a little better. Uh, so then let's just, let's just fill that in. And then they have stairs on either end going like that. Oh, God. I heard something not good. <clears throat> Was that one of the horses? I don't know. I keep hearing skeletons and stuff, but they're just underground. It's not actually um anything bad. <laughs> We're safe. Although there's also a lot of mobs uh, trapped in the wall. The little gap. Oh, God. The vil what? Look at this man's. <laughs> He got himself stuck. Oh, shoot! There are- Oh, my gosh! Okay, I lied. There are mobs in here. <clears throat> okay, well, um... That kind of caught me off guard, but... I, I think- I think- I think we're safe. It's, it's cool. I didn't die. That's the plus. But they have that. And hey, hey, look. That looks pretty good so far. So, let's finish this. Let's make it look good, because there's still some gaps in the roof that I want to, uh, fill in and make it look a little better. Um, I think, yeah, I think, how should I do this? I think I am going to need some more wood. Um, there should be some left in this chest over here. This is the chest. Oh my God, there's literally a creeper on my roof. And one right there. Oh gosh, iron golems, please. Will they take care of creepers? I don't know. <clears throat> I just really don't want to get blown up right now. Please stay away. Can they climb ladders? Please say no. Please say no. Oh gosh. Oh my god. There's holy crap. This is not good. Okay. There. Okay. There. There is some wood. This is good. Um. Let's just grab honestly all this stuff. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <clears throat> Ooh. I felt that like that was close. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Come on, one more hit. Okay, good. We're safe. Well, honestly, there, there are a few mobs, but I think the iron golems should be able to handle them. We only have two iron golems so far, but I, I still am on the search for pumpkins. Um, so hopefully I can find some soon to make some more iron golems. Because I have a lot of iron. I think I have eight or nine blocks of iron. Uh, plus, iron isn't really <laughs> that hard to come by. It's, it's pretty easy, so... I'm not too worried about it, <clears throat> but I want to do this. Let's continue the the log look because I'm, I'm digging it. And then up there, let's put a log. That looks good. It looks a little weird when you look at it from this angle, but when you look at it from here, I think it looks fine. I don't know what to put above the door. 
what if I did? Could I do it like that? That looks kind of weird. Um, what should I do? <clears throat> oh, what if I? I'm just thinking here. Okay, I like that. I'm leaving that. Um, and then where else do we need to fill in blocks? Okay, right here. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Let's have this go out one more block, just just for some extra detail. And there, I think we are all done. I don't know. I'm proud of this. It's a little house. It's not too big. Um, I think I'm gonna put like uh here. Let's 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 put some stuff in here. I like putting a little bit of a few utilities in each house I make. Let's do that. <clears throat> and then, you know, let's just make a bed. Why not? Hopefully a villager will one day inhabit this little place. Let's give him a chest. Uh, can't make a furnace. It's fine though. Nah, let's just leave it like that. But yeah, there we go. We have a nice little house. Hopefully a villager, uh, Let's put a torch there. Hopefully a villager will enjoy this. I think it looks pretty good though. I'm liking this design. Um, they actually, I think they did the roof one block more backwards. And I think I will also do that. Um, can you do that now? Yeah, I can do that now. Let's do that really fast. <clears throat> I was going to say, I'm not really liking how it looks. It's too, it's too stubbly. Um, so let's go do that. Same thing on this side. Boom, boom. And oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No no no. Oh no. No 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 no. No no no. Okay. I just need to get in a bed. Are you Let me sleep. No 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 no. Let me Oh my gosh. Hold up. Okay, I am back. Um oh oh. I guess it's uh been a few days since I've taken a nap in Minecraft. I just had to um, definitely not slaughter some villagers to get access to a bed. Uh, so let's let's pretend that didn't happen. But anyways, here we go. Here we have our house. Let's finish that. For a second, <coughs> I thought I was going to die and I got scared. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Boom. Oh shoot, that bugs me. Slab there. Stone bricks there. Let's break this. Because this has to be oak. Yeah, I think just having the um, the roof overhang a little bit, it'll add more detail. It'll make it look nicer. Uh, it'll help it all flow better and come together. Uh, the iron axe. I've, I've had enough of seeing this iron axe animation. After building this wall and cutting down literally hundreds of trees, I went through like a six or seven iron. It's crazy. Uh, okay, that looks better. Um... Still looks a little weird. How can I? Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure. What if I just like slabbed it up? Slabs fix everything, I'm telling you. That looks weird. Um. Well, I'll make some stone brick slabs. I might be able to fix something with that. Despite the fact that it looks weird, I'll fix it. It doesn't look that bad. I think this overall still looks pretty good. I'm proud of this. Um, I think it looks pretty fancy. I'm a fan. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's all for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is kind of an eventful episode. So again, if you guys saw an area where you think something you know could be built and would look cool, uh, let me know. I definitely want to do more building projects in this world, especially now that we have a lot of diamond tools. We have access to a lot of resources or access to ways to get a lot of resources. So I can pretty much build anything. Um, but yeah, just let me know. This was just a small project just to start it off. And it wasn't really my own creation. But so far, everything else we've done has pretty much uh, been my own. So I'm proud of that. But yeah, again, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys in the next one.